Hey guys, what's up? It's Courtney, and today I'm doing some hair hacks. I did this video ages ago, so I thought I would share some new favorite hair hacks that I have with you all today. Really quickly before I get into this video, I have a giveaway going on right now and it lasts until November 14th. I'm giving away either an iPad mini or a Visa gift card for $250 and all you have to do to enter is be subscribed. That's it. I want to give back to you guys so all you have to do is click the subscribe button if you're not already and if you feel extra nice, you can give this video a thumbs up. Easiest giveaway ever so good luck to all you guys and let's get into these hair hacks. One of the biggest tips I can give you is go long in between your washes if you're washing your hair every day it's not good for your hair you're, you're losing more hair your hair probably gets greasy really easy but if you start spreading your washes out you go every other wash and then after a while you go every two washes you wash your hair use some dry shampoo in between and you'll find your hair gets less oily and less greasy the longer you start to do it your hair just gets used to it and stops producing as much oil and it's also a lot healthier for your hair going along with that first First hack, if you go to the gym quite frequently like I do, you know your hair gets super dirty and sweaty and you're like, well, I'm trying not to wash my hair, but you know, it just feels gross. So a solution I have for that, what I do personally, is I just rinse it out with water. That is all I do. Just simple rinse, no shampoo, no conditioner. If you're someone who likes to put up a messy ponytail and have some pieces in the front, I'm going to show you how to cut your own, they're called tendrils, when it's this section right here in the front. And it is super easy to do yourself, you really can't mess it up all too much. What you're going to do is pull your hair up into a ponytail and you want to pull it straight back and then you're going to take the two sections closest to your forehead and use a comb to just pull them out. Then you can tie the rest of your hair out of the way and you're going to take some scissors and you're going to to cut them and then just cut at an angle whatever length you want and you are good to go my ends get very dry sometimes from just using heat on it I feel like I use more heat now that my hair is short than when it was longer so what you could do is just add a little coconut oil to the ends of your hair you just leave it in you don't have to wash it out or anything and it will give it a little bit of moisture and you want to make sure the coconut oil is like in the liquidy form not like in a paste so get it to that right temperature to melt and then just put it in your ends if you want thicker hair without all the teasing what you could do is get a thickening hairspray I like this one from big sexy hair it's very lightweight it doesn't make your hair crunchy and I just spray it in between my hair and then you could just let it rest like it is it works so well when your hair is curled or you could just kind of rub your hair back and forth and it'll give it some body without actually teasing it. I've been doing this one all the time since I've cut my hair because I need some extra oomph when I do a bun because I lost so much length. So what I do is once I put my hair into a bun, it could be half up bun, it could be a totally like up bun. And then what I do is I hair tie it and I actually hairspray it and tease it. And that way it gives it just so much more body and kind of just makes it so much more voluminous. It works miracles. If you This last one will hopefully save you a lot of money and that way you don't have to keep buying all these different curling irons. I really think you need about a medium sized curling wand and then like a bigger one depending on what kind of curls you want. But with one curling iron, you could get so many different looks for it based upon just how you wrap your hair around it. You could get looser waves if you choose to leave more space in between your curl. You could get more spirally curls, almost like you're using a curling iron instead of a curling wand. If you keep them really close together and use like and keep the strands very flat as you wrap it around. There's just so many different options and so many different variations that you could wrap your hair around a curling wand to get completely different curls. I hope you guys enjoyed these hacks and if you want to see some more I'll link the last video I did with hair hacks down below and you can watch 10 more um, but thank you so so much I really appreciate you guys for watching my videos it means so much to me don't forget to subscribe and you can be entered into my giveaway and I will talk to you guys next time as always both my videos are on both sides of me and I'll talk to you guys soon leave me a comment down below so I can come say hi and I think that's it yeah that's it okay bye <laughs>